Welcome to Snowflake 101. In this video, we will be going over SnowSQL, Snowflake's interactive CLI client. We'll be covering what is SnowSQL, how to install SnowSQL, SnowSQL connection options, and how to customize SnowSQL. SnowSQL is a command line interface, or CLI, used to interact with Snowflake directly from your terminal. Once you've installed it and logged into your Snowflake account, you can execute SQL queries, manage your various Snowflake objects, and perform other operations on your Snowflake account, such as loading data into Snowflake. Almost anything you can do from Snowflake's web interface, you can do from SnowSQL. SnowSQL can be installed across all major operating systems, including Linux, Mac, and Windows. When installing SnowSQL, you have a few options. We provide an installer executable that you can download and run from developers.snowflake.com slash snowsql. And if you're using a Mac, we support homebrew installations with the brew install command. After installing SnowSQL, you can instantly start using Snowflake from your terminal by running the command snowsql-a and supply your account identifier and dash u with your username. By default, you'll be prompted to provide a password. Your account admin may have configured additional security measures requiring you to log in via private key pair, single sign-on, or multi-factor authentication. SnowSQL supports all of these authentication methods via connection parameters that you would add to the command line. For private key pair, you can use the private key path parameter. If your account uses single sign-on, you can use Authenticator External Browser. And lastly, for multi-factor authentication, you have two options, MFA passcode and supply the token, or MFA passcode in password, which will prompt you for the token. Out of the box, Snowflake provides sensible defaults for you, so you can get started quickly without any need for customization. However, if you wish, you can customize and configure a number of useful settings, including creating named connection profiles, configuring auto-completion, paging, or even customizing your prompt. There's a lot that you can do. All of these customizations are defined in the snowsql.cnf file, which is created for you when installing SnowSQL. The exact location of the CNF file will depend on the operating system you are running. Be sure to check out the Snowflake Docs page for a complete list of customizations that you can make. For more information on what you can do with SnowSQL, check out additional resources at developers.snowflake.com. I'm Diana Pham, and this has been another episode of Snowflake 101. See you in the data cloud.